Hello everyone, this video is going to go over how to write and use a function in MATLAB. So first off, when I write a function, I like to write the date when I wrote it. This one's from 2006, so it's, it's quite old, but it's a good example to use. I'm going to write the reason for the function. So this one is a function to calculate the atmospheric density in metric units. The input, what the input variable is, is S of Y, and the outputs. So the outputs are rho is density in terms of kilograms per meter cube, temperature, and pressure, and the units of both of those are there as well. So sometimes I, write, I like to write uh, directions for how to use the function in case I give it to someone else or forget what I'm doing. So I have some directions here. To use the function first, we're going to save the function as the name of the function, density underscore t underscore m dot m in the working directory. So the working directory is just wherever your main store is filed. The main, your main script is, is saved. Your uh, a function is a script that you call from inside of another MATLAB code. So what you're going to do is write a MATLAB code. Somewhere in there you're going to need to calculate the density given that you know the height above sea level where you're working with. And you can put that into this density underscore t underscore m function and calculate it without having to have all this code inside of your main script. So what we're going to do is, is first we're going to save it and then we're going to insert this line into our main code and I'll show how to use this a little bit later in the video. And you can actually name these outputs anything you want when you uh, put it in your script. But for now I'm going to leave them the way they are. So the beginning of the actual function, these are all comments from here to here. The function, the writing of the function actually doesn't start till here, where you're going to write function, it'll, it'll turn blue, and it's just like any other, either an if in a conditional statement or a while loop or something like that. It is a command that MATLAB knows that it's a function and then it expects some specific things. So you don't want to use function as a variable name. That's bad. So you write function, then these are your output variables. So the output, you have row, t, and p, separated by commas. And that's equal to the name of the function, parentheses, your input variables. So you can have more than one input variable. This one just has one. Uh, so the name of the function, parentheses, variable, close parentheses. Interesting thing to notice in the new version of MATLAB, when you highlight a variable name, it'll highlight all the way to the script. So you can see s of y is highlighted, and then the rest of the s of y's here turn blue, which is neat. So this is the beginning of the function, then we're going to do something with our input variable. So I have if s of y is, is less than or equal to 11,000, we know we're in the troposphere, and then we can calculate the temperature and pressure using these two equations. So if do something end, if we have s of s underscore y is greater than 11,000 and less than 25,000, we're in the lower stratosphere and we're going to use these. We're going to set the T and P equal to these. And if it's greater than 25,000, we're in the upper stratosphere and we're going to use these two equations to define our temperature and pressure. Then we're going to calculate rho using this equation. And then a lot of times I like to write in program and have a bunch of parentheses so that I know when I get to the end of the program. So what we can do is if we copy this bit of code, I don't have this code in a, in a script to show you how to use right now. Well, I'm sure I have it somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I can go to my command window. No, sorry. I can go to my command window and then evaluate this. So if I say s underscore y is equal to a thousand, I can define that, and then I can copy my bit of function code here. So this is already saved in the working directory that, it, that I'm working in right now. So I can put this in, and if I hit enter, then I will calculate my the density, the temperature, and the pressure. Obviously, and obviously these will, are calculated first, but it's it's outputting it row TP. So we're getting the answer row TP here, and there in our workspace, and you can use them uh, like anything else that was in your in your script if you have this function in there. So this is a basic introduction into functions. I hope you find this useful and have a good day.